Well, look at him go. Did you see yeah, that? yeah, I saw that. Yeah. He got some power. There he goes again. He's a crazy one. Right in the net. That's okay, a good, good job. <laughs> but we didn't lose him. No, that's another nice another one. Another very nice one. Not yeah. as big as the other one. No, but that's still a nice yeah. one. All right, yeah. let's get a few more. So, Joyce, what are you going to make with the shad meat from our shad fishing trip? We're going to have fish roll-ups with a lemon garlic sauce. That sounds good. For this recipe, you're going to need one and a half cups of fish. You're going to need two tablespoons of finely chopped onions, which will be divided between the, the stuffing and the sauce. Same with the you only know, two tablespoons of finely chopped sweet pepper, one and a half teaspoons of minced garlic, half a teaspoon is going to go with, of that into the fish. We're going to need three to four tablespoons of mayonnaise, a half a teaspoon of white pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, two and a half tablespoons of butter, two teaspoons of lemon juice, two and a half cups of milk, one teaspoon of parsley, and two and a half tablespoons of flour. Now for the biscuit recipe, you're gonna need one and, a half, one and a quarter cups of flour, a quarter cup of butter, very cold butter cut into quarter inch pieces, two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of milk, and a tablespoon of sugar. What I like to do is get the um, butter ready for the biscuits before we do anything. That's first. So you cut your quarter cup and then we need two and a half tablespoons for the sauce. So what I like to do with the butter is cut it up into little quarter inch chunks. So I first Go down this way. So this will be used for the biscuits, right? Right, this is for the biscuits, because this is I this gotta go in the freezer so it gets nice and cold. So these are different biscuits and we use them the bis yeah, biscuits the biscuits and gravy. Yeah, these are just plain plain biscuits. Break them off so they're individual like this. And you put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes. And just make them like that. And we'll just go in the freezer. Next step is to make the sauce. Cut your onion up. You're not going to need all this onion, so what I, I save it and wrap it. I'm going to cut your onion up in little chunks. I can use my grinder, but some people don't have one of those, so we'll do it this way today. The old fashioned way, right? Right. So you want this chopped very fine. A strong onion. So what you're going to need out of here, two tablespoons of the onion, and finely chopped. So you stick that in here. Just put that in your pan. And the rest of it, just put the bowl and I'll package this up so it doesn't smell in the refrigerator real Wrap it up real good in saran wrap and then put it in the plastic bag. Next is the pepper. 
I'm going to cut it in half. Pull out the seeds. And do the same thing. Cut it in strips. While you're doing this, you can put the butter in your pan and start getting that to melt. Put that on low. What you're doing here is you're taking the, the vegetables, and you're going to saute them, and then you'll divide it up between your uh, fish stuffing. So you need in there. Now the garlic. We cut the little stem part off. Then if you're brave, you can smash it this way, but I don't like to do that because I know one day I'm just gonna cut myself. So I take whatever I have, and just smash it. And then that skin peels right off. Cut that into slices. And the same thing. And this will mince up a lot finer than you did the onions and the pepper. You can see how tiny the pieces are. And that's about how you want it right there. And you're gonna use a teaspoon and a half. You have a little bit left over that, just garlic always tastes good, so I always, instead of saving that, I just use it and put it in there. You're just going to saute this till they get soft. Okay, the... The onions and the pepper are just about where you want them. You can see they're almost translucent, like that nice get and become clear. So that's done. So what you do here is you take two tablespoons in here, put it in a bowl. That goes in there. This is for your filling for your fish. So just dump your fish in there. And your mayonnaise. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. We're going to use three tablespoons in there. I might use more. And you just mix that up in there. The shad was really good. Right? Shad so these, was these delicious. are going to be these roll ups or whatever they call them. They're going to be good. I know they're going to be good. The meat's a lot whiter than it usually is. Yeah, it don't look like shad, does it? Well, the secret is to bleed them right away. Let me just. I'm going to just taste this. Well, you don't mind my fingers. Mm, perfect. So just set that aside. Your next step is put your uh, two and a half tablespoons and your parsley in here. Two and a half teaspoons of what? Excuse me, two and a half teaspoons of flour. <laughs> or just standard two and a half teaspoons. Yeah, two and, and a half, <laughs> two and a half, two and a half tablespoons of flour. There we go. 
I usually make believe I'm making it and see if I understand. Then you guys will understand. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mouthful of the fish, so I didn't really, that's why I couldn't talk, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, you just start cooking. You don't even use recipes usually. Okay, that's how you want your flour and the butter and, and the vegetables to look. Just like a, sort of like paste, looks like a little paste. So here we go again with the stirring. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stirring. Turn it up to about almost medium. And then slowly add this milk. And just stir that in. The only trouble with glass tops, your pans slide all around. But it's a nice cleanup when you're done. Right? <laughs> Sam likes the old coil burners. I like things that are simple. It's simple, but they're hard to clean. You smash that down in there so it doesn't get lumpy. Looks like it's going to take all the milk, but we're not going to put it all in there yet. Whisking that around to get the lumps out. It'll look lumpy because of the garlic and the onions in there, but you can tell when it's the flour. Right now, I don't see too much. There's no hardly any flour lumps in here. down just a little bit. Here I have the rest of your milk. Thicken it up pretty fast mm -hmm. today, it seems. I think it's this frying pan too. Just, just the good stainless frying pan. I mm -hmm. think it gets a lot hotter. And I just want to taste this to see if we got enough salt. I think th this is probably going to need more salt. About that much. It's probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. And it's going to take the rest of the milk. Now you take your two teaspoons of lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice. Fresh lemon, juice. yeah. Yep. I, I keep the, one of these little containers and when I'm Squeezing and I do a lot so I have it ready to go to make something. And taste it one more time. Perfect. Just right. Yep. Put the rest of that milk in there. that off the burner, set it aside. I forgot to add the pepper to this and that actually makes it good. So we gotta stir that up again. And we'll let this sit. Now you're gonna turn your oven on. 400. Now we're going to make the biscuits. We're going to get the butter out. You want it a little hard, like it is, nice and hard. Okay, in this little bowl is the one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar and a quarter teaspoon to a half a teaspoon whichever if you want to make them a little more saltier you can use the half which I've done I've used a half on this one so we're going to dump it in a bowl mixing the cup and then back into here you're going to sift the flour
you take your pastry cutter and just blend that all together. And then add the butter. And you just blend it in. If you don't have one of these, you can use two knives. Basically, you just keep going like this with the two knives, or you can use a mixer. Now that's the oven preheated to 400. It's a little more work, but this thing works great. This was a gift from our daughter, which was one of the best things I've got in the kitchen. What you're trying to do here is make it into a a crummy, just like a crumb mixer, where the butter gets chunked down into little crumbs. Okay, we're we're about where we want to be with how it looks. You can see the little chunks of butter in there, like little crumbs. You're ready to mix your biscuit dough. Make a little well in here. And just add the milk. Just stir it in here. You might need a little more milk, so but you don't want to get it too wet. And just get in here with your hands. And you don't want to over mix it. It's going to take a little bit more milk. Got about another quarter cup of milk in here, but we're just gonna go by tablespoons. So we're gonna go two tablespoons first and mix it in there. Just drizzle a little bit more in here. Just round up all that flour that's in there. And your dough wants to be on a little sticky side like this. See, it's a little sticky. Now you're going to add flour to your cut, cutting board. Smear it around. And we'll add some more in here. Make sure you have plenty of flour on here. Flip it over. So the flour is on this side. Just thought I would use this. This is Sam's mom's old rolling pin. Really? Everything we got is old. Yeah, yeah. This is real old, this one. The cotton board's 50 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you're young and you think about all this old stuff. But this must be 75. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. I think this was I think this was your grandmother's and then your mother had it. Might have been. I think I think it was. But it, it just works really good. Yeah, you don't need to get new stuff. I didn't need the big one for this because there's not that big. So now you roll it out like that, and then you're going to fold it up. Get more flour on the cutting board here. Roll it up again. And just keep rolling. You can see all them chunks of butter in there. Mm hmm. One more time. And what you're going to do is you're going to form sort of a rectangle. That you want to roll it out to uh, a quarter of an inch thick. So that's thinner than a normal biscuit. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. trying to do. Put that, put that back down in there. And roll it out. Just 
fold that back in there. So it rolls out fairly even. Now you take your fish and put that on here. Now we're using shad, but you can use any kind of fish, can yeah. you? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. This is more like flavorful. This is different. I think it makes them better. And you're going to spread this out. And these are American shad, and they got a history behind them, all the way back to George Washington. He was a commercial shad fisherman. Pat it in there. Get as close as you can to the edges. Just like that. So you're going to take this carefully. Get under it with your fingers. Brush some of that flour off. And just roll it up. Seal these in, squeeze it. Squeeze the ends. Roll back over. You want to line your baking sheet with parchment paper. Sometimes it's not the right size. Fold the ends over. Now you're going to cut these into about an inch and a half rolls like that. And you're going to sit them on there. Just like that. They look pretty, don't they? Don't they? Yep, they do. Mm -hmm. Almost like making cinnamon buns. But they don't taste like cinnamon buns. No, not quite. Put them on there. Make sure you squeeze this end together. This one's going to be just a little bit bigger than the rest of them. That's good. <laughs> Big ones. We were just squishing down a little bit. There. And what did we come up with? Eight? No, yeah, eight of them. Ten minutes and then check them. i will probably go a little bit longer than that. And your oven set at 400. I'm going to go on sort of the third rack up from the bottom. Ten minutes. The ten minutes are up. But they're not quite done yet. You can get in there and see. I don't want to disturb them. They're going to probably go about another, you know, another four minutes. But see how nice the biscuits raised up around them. They look good. Mm, they really look good. Yep. Is that the timer for four minutes? While you're doing that, waiting for that bake, you put this, turn your sauce back on and get it. Hot. You see, by putting the lid on it, it didn't get that uh, skin on top. So that's right about where the thickness that you want, right there. Turn that burner back off. Put the lid 
that crack until they're out of the oven. Four minutes is up, and then look how nice they look. Let's shut the timer off. They are perfect, perfectly done. Look like a dessert. <laughs> Sauce is still nice and just perfect thickness. So you're gonna put that on each roll up. Sam just a little bit more because he's not getting his tartar sauce tonight. Well, Joyce, these shad roll-ups really look good. And I know they're going to taste good. Because that shad, we ate some, uh, just the shad for, we had that for dinner yesterday. And that, that shad was really good. Real good. Yep. And we got homemade bread today, which we're not going to eat with the biscuits, of course. But today will happen to be bread day. So you're going to give it a taste and see if it's any good? Sure. Might be hot. I can see the biscuits are super flaky. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looked good. The biscuits are real flaky. Yeah, they rose up nice. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching.